Members of the Boston University community are remembering and honoring a beloved terrier, Lingzi Lu. Lingzi was a graduate student at Boston University when she was killed during the marathon attacks last year. Now, seven people with BU connections chosen in part by Lu's family from a pool of 200 are running the 2014 marathon in her honor. It just seemed like just a great thing to do. Uh, so I really wanted just to sort of help keep her memory alive through, through this run. It's such a bittersweet moment because obviously she can't be here with us, but she definitely motivates us. Team Lu gathered at Cornwall's restaurant in Kenmore Square in order to raise money for the Lu Lingzi Scholarship Fund, which was established by Boston University and Lingzi's family. Though the runners did not know Lingzi personally, running for her was something they all wanted to do. Well, I think it's important to remember Lingzi. You know, she, uh, she was a part of the BU community, and, and it's great that we can have the scholarship that sort of keeps her alive for, uh, for years and years to come. The money raised. For example, in honor of the victims, Ryan Shea ran an entire marathon on a treadmill last year and was selected to run in honor of Lou this year. Uh, hopefully we can do something with this video, uh, motivate or inspire people to do the same thing. I'm thinking of every single night, you know, before I go to bed, how, how excited I am, how privileged I am to be a part of this community. And it's going to mean a lot, especially for, you know, her parents, her relatives, as well as, I think, for the whole city and, and Boston University. For Chinese runner Ba Yun Yao, the similarities between her and Ling Zi is what's giving her the strength to run from Hopkinton to Boylston. We came from China, we're the only child, uh, like, uh, in the family, and uh, we come along here. It's a very hard journey because we have to speak a totally different language, we have to adapt to a totally different culture, and we have to work on a lot of difficulties. But uh, I think she didn't finish this journey, but I want to finish for her. Dan Mercurio finished last year's marathon a minute before the bombs went off, and that's where he gets his motivation. I mean, I, I've run for charities in the past. This one's definitely more personal for me. It really hits close to home. So, I mean, I, training's never been easier. You know, I get up every day, I'm, I'm excited to run. I'm, I'm excited to improve myself and, and get in a position where I can make the, the Lingzi family proud. In the end, honoring Lou and running for her one year after the attacks sends a powerful message. I want to send a message out to the terrorist, terrorists that we're not afraid of you. And what you did is just totally wrong. You cannot do this and change our lives. So we're going to fight for this. For Boston University News Service, this is Andre Kachaturian.